front page of the Metro this morning. Jenny McGee, the nurse who cared for Boris Johnson, has quit, citing zero respect and an absolutely miserly 1% pay deal, which is in effect a pay cut. With inflate, what's inflation? I don't, what is it, 3%? 10 years! For now, 10 years! And she's so disillusioned, she's quit the NHS. It's horrific. Can you imagine? And she saw this gravy, dribbling, oity-toity oaf living in a grace and favour. Going on about a thousand pound a roll... <laughs> a roll wallpaper. And, and, and it's peeling off. Can you imagine how a nurse who saved his life, how she feels when she sees corrupt holidays on the Caribbean island of Mystique? She's there mopping up piss and blood, saving people's lives, holding hands, comforting them as people can die. Your children with tears rolling down their cheeks, Confident them, nurses eating pizza from bins, working long hours, and she sees Boris Johnson let the bodies pile high. Look at the entire Tory government, never mind Penny Morden saying, hey, we're not corrupt, or the gormless flag shanging gammon. She worked in Cameron's government for fuck's sake. Cameron, look at him with the NHS like a vulture, Boris John, dodgy Dave and fucko the clown, Tory corruption, Matt Hancock's family shares, Pretty Patel and all the PPE money, 37 billion, all in Tory fucking pockets. It's not the nurse that should be resigning. It's Boris Johnson trying to get her to do a clap for carers that night. Sign number 10. She said, no, the first wave was bad. The second was a shit show. That's her words. As a country, we can't afford Boris Johnson and the Tories anymore. We should afford nurses.